The onset of troops is like the rush of a torrent, which will even roll stones along its course. What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today we are back for another episode in our series on how to master competitive Pokemon. Today we will be discussing leads. The Pokemon you lead with can have a massive impact on the outcome of the game. At this point, you should have determined what your plan of action is going to be. So now you must determine how you will commence that plan. The impact of a lead can impact a game far beyond the turn at hand. As such, it should not be taken lightly. Choosing the incorrect lead could immediately propel you into a state of reaction from the first turn. This is not what you want. If possible, you want to always proactively enforce your will. You never want to be in reaction to your opponent. That isn't to say that you can't win if you must react. However, you want to avoid this state as much as possible. Having proactive control means your game plan is in motion with the passing of each turn. If each turn is focused on stopping your opponent's game plan, then you're in a state of reaction. Whoever has proactive control of the game has the upper hand. You may not always be on the offensive, but at the end of each turn, your focus should be on how you can reverse this and conquer your opponent. The reason people tend to disregard the lead is due to the thought process of, oh, I'll just switch to my check. This is entering the battle from a defensive standpoint. This is, from the onset, placing your opponent in a position of power. Pokemon battles are a battle of will. Both players want a certain outcome, but only one can get it. This does not mean you will always have the advantage on the lead, but you should always want to. You should always want to have the upper hand. This is a subtle idea because you may be thinking, who doesn't want the upper hand? What I'd say to that is, observe your actions. Players may sometimes get caught into the reactional cycle and focus all their thinking on how to survive rather than how to thrive. It then becomes a question of, how can I protect myself rather than how can I destroy my opponent? It's important to know the answers to both these questions, but ultimately, you're aiming to defeat your opponent. Whichever you focus on more, will drive how you operate. A player using an offensive team while having the how can I protect myself mindset has maimed himself at the onset. To truly determine the impact of different leads, one would have to reanalyze the same battle repeatedly while leading with different Pokemon. We would then theorize about how the opponent would have reacted to that lead and so on. This is a lot of work. Obviously no one does this which is why the importance of the lead is often overlooked. This isn't to say the lead is the end all be all, but I wouldn't take it for granted. You must consider the long term effects of your actions. In battle, information is key. If you're at a lead disadvantage, you must switch. You involuntarily give your opponent information that you could have otherwise withheld. Leads are especially important in situations where your opponent has something you can't guard against. If there's a Pokemon that gives you a hard time whenever it enters the field, give it very few opportunities to be put in play. It will be incredible foolish to lead with a Pokemon that has a disadvantage against a Pokemon you're unable to guard against. That would put you down one Pokemon on the first turn. The lead is also there for your own protection. The better you lead, the less you bleed. And that's going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed what you learned and found it valuable, pick up a copy of my book, The Art of Competitive Pokemon. This is an ebook that teaches you everything you've learned up to this point in more detail with more examples. The link is down below, so go pick up your copy right now. All you need is the free Kindle app in order to read it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one peace